Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we have got this uh, quadrilateral A, B, C, D, as you can see in this uh, diagram, such that uh, this angle uh, D, A, B is uh, 60 degrees. This angle uh, A, B, C is uh, 70 degrees. And this angle uh, A, D, C is uh, theta. And furthermore, uh, this uh, side length uh, A, D is uh, Y units. And this uh, side length uh, DC is Y units uh, as well. In other words, uh, they have the same length. And this uh, side length uh, BC is X uh, units. And finally, this uh, side length uh, AB is uh, X uh, plus Y units. In other words, uh, it is the sum of these uh, two side lengths uh, X uh, and uh, Y. And now we are going to calculate the value of this uh, angle uh, theta. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. Let me make it very clear that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started with the solution. And since we are dealing with this uh, challenging kind of problem, so therefore we are going to be a little creative and we're going to think uh, outside the box. And we are going to pick a point uh, E on this uh, line uh, a B such that uh, this uh, line uh, segment A E is going to be Y units and this uh, side length uh, E B is going to be X units and here's our next step let's go ahead and connect uh, this uh, point E with this uh, vertex uh, C and this uh, vertex uh, D as well as you can see in this uh, next uh, diagram and now let's focus on this uh, triangle uh, AED and we can see this is an isosceles uh, triangle since uh, this side length uh, is equal to this uh, side length and since this is an isosceles triangle so therefore uh, this angle uh, has got to be equal to this uh, angle and now let's recall the triangle uh, sum theorem. According to this theorem, the sum of three interior angles in a triangle is always uh, 180 degrees. And since these two angles are congruent, uh, so therefore this angle has got to be 60 degrees. And this angle is uh, 60 degrees uh, as well. And now we can see all these uh, three angles are uh, 60 degrees each. So therefore we conclude that this uh, triangle uh, AED is an equilateral uh, triangle. So therefore all these uh, side lengths uh, are going to be Y units. And here's our next step. Let's focus on this uh, another triangle uh, EBC. And we can see that this is an isosceles uh, triangle since uh, this uh, side length uh, equal to this side length. So therefore, uh, this angle has got to be equal to this uh, angle. And once again, let's recall this uh, triangle sum theorem. The sum of uh, three interior angles uh, in a triangle must be equal to 180 degrees. So that means uh, these uh, two angles have got to be 55 degrees uh, each since the sum of all these uh, three angles uh, must be equal to 180 degrees. So therefore our angles uh, BEC and uh, BCE are going to be 55 degrees each. And now let's recall the straight angle property and we know that this whole straight angle is going to be 100 and 80 degrees and we know that this angle is 60 degrees and this angle uh, is uh, 55 degrees so therefore uh, this angle uh, CED has got to be 65 degrees and finally let's focus on this uh, another uh, triangle uh, ECD and we can see that this is an isosceles triangle as well since uh, this side length uh, equal to this side length so therefore uh, this angle is going to be congruent to this uh, angle and we know that this angle is uh, 65 degrees. So therefore this angle uh, has got to be 65 degrees as well. So therefore our these two angles CED and ECD are uh, 65 degrees each. 
And finally, let's recall this uh, triangle sum theorem once again. That means uh, sum of all these uh, three angles in this uh, triangle ECD must be 180 degrees. So therefore, we conclude that this angle has got to be 50 degrees since the sum of all these uh, three angles uh, are going to be equal to 180 degrees. So therefore our angle uh, CDE turns out to be 50 degrees. And here's our final step. Let's go ahead and calculate uh, this angle uh, theta and we can see that this uh, angle theta is the sum of these uh, two individual angles uh, 60 degrees uh, and uh, 50 degrees. So therefore let me go ahead and write down our angle theta is uh, 50 degrees plus uh, 60 degrees. Let's go ahead and add them up. So our angle theta turns out to be 110 degrees. So thus our angle theta turns out to be 110 degrees. And that's our final answer. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.